Hello everyone. My name is Candy, the 614 Stitcher, and I am here to give you an update on what my stitching has been the last couple of weeks. If you are new, thank you very much for stopping by and checking out my video to see if there's something that may interest you. And if you are a returning scribe, subscriber, thank you so very much for coming back um, and hanging out with me for a little while. Um, I know that time is very uh, precious and I appreciate you spending a little bit of your time with me. Um, a little bit of life update. I um, have been struggling a lot uh, the last few weeks. Um, and it, it comes and it goes and so that's where I've been um, today is a good day and so I thought I would get on and give you a good update on where I've been um, and continue to just keep trying to work my way through all the different situations um, that I have going on right now um, I have been doing a lot of stitching so that's been uh, keeping me somewhat grounded and so um, this too shall pass is all I just keep saying so let's get on with the stitching now um, as you know I was um, involved in Bringo and I did end up getting a blackout board um, at the 11th hour um, I spent um, a great deal of time on the 31st uh, finishing up all of the projects and when you see the ones that I had to finish you'll understand why so um, the the all the numbers were called by the 25th of the month and then they gave us the extra week to um, catch up on some of the projects that you know if we needed to and of course I did so um, the very first project that I needed to catch up on it actually I had it listed twice um, on the board and the first one which was number nine was a whip that you dread and this same whip also was number 21 for a stitch no number 21 or 25 um, stitch on a whip that is sparkly so in 2020 I started um, I got this chart from um, off the table at the um, at my very first stitch away um, and it is called and it is a magazine um, and it's called Joy Squared um, and this is what it looked like this was in the December 2016 issue of Just Cross Stitch magazine and I had a brilliant idea that um, I wanted it to be sparkly when I first started stitching it so um, I decided that I would stitch it all with white and then I would add all and it's not really showing up that well but then I would add all of this chronic so the whole letter J um, is done in chronic and when I got finished with the letter J I, I was like okay I'm gonna be done with that for a while but I want to um, keep it moving forward so I went ahead on and started the O for the joy and I changed um, all of the colors I um, am doing the where's my notebook at? I changed the color from red to a DMC blue and then I'm using the uh, number four very fine braid from Crying. and I, I yeah so this is you can see a little bit of the sparkle I think maybe but so I managed to stitch half of the O that was what the goal was to stitch half of the there there it goes um, in chronic over top of all of the white and um, and once I get done with 
I still have the Y to do. I, I'm, I'm going to uh, really, oh, I used for the red, for the blue, in, I'm using DMC 311. Um, I decorate with uh, blues and whites and silvers for um, Christmas, and so I wanted it to be um, similar to what this picture is. I'm going to have it finished like this picture, but I wanted my colors to match the colors that I use in my home. Um, and so that was, and that was the project that I actually, the 11th hour, I um, stayed up later than I ever do so that I could get that turned in before 12, uh, before 11.59 on the 31st. So that was two of the numbers called. And then the, um, Number eight, which I had hoped it would be called over the uh, 24 hours of cross stitch weekend, which it wasn't, but um, it was, you had to do a whip or new start either five hours or 500 stitches. And for that one, I pulled out. Sorry, I thought I had these in order. Um, I had a whip that I have been working on all through the month. Um, it was on the Bringo board a couple of times also. Um, and it is <clears throat> Positivity Rules by Caterpillar Cross Stitch. And I put in all the rest of the cloud I finished up this other side of the roof and I started putting in all the words that go down the side. This piece um, is going away for a little while. I have uh, put it on my WIPGO board and therefore when it gets called again for WIPGO, that's when I'll pull it back out. I did a lot of stitching on that piece. Um, it was actually the 2020 um, style for Caterpillar cross stitch. It's a, it's a wonderful cross stitch. It's a lot of, it's a lot of stitching that, um, you know, when you look at it, you don't think there's a whole lot, but all the letters have like two or three different colors, but I still love it. And, and I'm going to keep moving forward with it. Like I said, I already know how I'm going to finish that piece. So when I get it finished, um, when I finish stitching on it, I'm going to make sure that I show you all the finished product of that. So my last um, piece for Bringo was um, number 21, and it stitch on something that will be a gift. And so <clears throat> I have been going through um the just cross stitch magazines and i found this one and it's called fairy garden and it's this top one right here well my best friend her colors um her favorite colors are pink and green and so i decided that i was going to work on that and luckily enough um which i didn't even know it at the time but luckily enough um my fabric of the month from fortnite fabrics was uh, Christmas cactus and so it was a perfect shade of green and so here is my start on it and that is actually a hundred and thirteen a hundred and three stitches um, because we had to stitch at least one hour or a hundred stitches on the piece so I th I really love it I, I love all the different colors. It is a lot of, <clears throat> pardon me, start and stop. And so I'm going to show you something literally like I was in the middle of stitching this, stopped and went and made, um, it's called a floss prism. Um, Kimberly Jolly at the Fat Quarter Shop did a um, tutorial on these for 
people that um, have several different needles threaded and you can just stick them down in here and then pull them out. Um, it's made with foam core, soft and stable fabric. There's no sewing involved. So if you want to um, look up that video, I will put um, the information down below so that you can see. Um, it really did come in handy for me because I don't carry threads. I literally start and stop with every, um, so if there's two threads or th two stitches, I stitch those two stitches, tie it off and move to the next one. I don't carry threads. So this is called a fro floss prism. And I'm sure they have other different kinds of things um, because I have so much fabric and all of that. It was just easy for me to make one. I made it in like 15 minutes. Um, by the time I, it took the longest part was picking out the fabric. So, so those um, were the last four projects that I needed to get pictures, um, get finished up and get pictures in for um, the finishing of the Bringo. Um, and I just watched Carolyn's video right before I decided to record. Um, and they will be picking the winners for the challenge this weekend. So that is exciting. Uh, the next, since I'm um, talking about um, the monthly magazine cross-stitch challenge with the Bringo, I'm going to go right into what my February pieces are. So um, the theme this month is love and the acrostic is candy. So for the theme, I will be working on, hmm, I know what's in here. I'm doing the flowers of the month by just cross stitch from 2020. So I'll have to um, get that and come back to it. But it's the flower of the month. I was sure that I pulled that and put it over here. Oh, well, you know. Um, so for the acrostic, though, so for the letter C, I um, downloaded a freebie off of the Fat Quarter Shops website. Because I am also participating in February festivals 2021 with um, Miss Dina Half Stitch Cross Stitch. She has a great floss tube channel and her friend Donna. Um, and so I jumped on the bandwagon. I don't have, um, I've only been stitching a little while and so I don't have like a cross stitch pieces that I've have put up in my home so I was like well that that's really a good idea um so I jumped on the bandwagon and the name I'm gonna hold it back here this is um candy hearts chart and it is a free download on fat quarter shops website um if you go under the blog if you go under cross stitch and then you'll see in the link tree, it'll say free charts and you can just click on there and they actually have several. Um, so you could choose from it. And so this is where I'm at with it. Now I changed and that's why this looks like this. These all this black and this pink will be coming out. I needed to do it as a play saver play saver yes um because on their chart they have xoxo and i changed the xoxo to love but this morning when i was or yesterday morning last night i've been doing a lot <laughs> um i decided that i needed to put in something so that i would not miscount and so that is what those are in there for i will not i'll be taking those out um and putting another color in for th for the love 
um, it won't be stitched in those colors. But this is going to be a really cute, it's a very small chart. Um, they actually stitched their model on 25 count Lugana um, Cloud, which is the fabric, which is a fabric by Lori Holt. Um, and then they have five different colorways. You could do it in yellow, green, blue, purple, um, or red, and they give you the colors for them. And so um, this is actually turning out to be a really quick um, stitch. Um, and I, I am enjoying it. I did all of the outlining so that when I am listening to floss tube or, you know, whatever I'm doing, um, I could just fill in the colors. Um, and I sat last night and just filled in and filled in and filled in and filled in. And so I'm, I'm looking to get this done uh, within the next week or so so that I can have it done and try to get it F. Um, it, it won't be done, of course, for Valentine's Day, but um, doesn't really, that doesn't concern me. I'll have it ready for next Valentine's Day. So that was the C for candy. <coughs> the next letter is A. Um, and of course, this is Black History Month. And um, in mixing, I'm mixing the Black History Month and the Valentine's Day all together. So I will be working on um, a Stitch for Sweet Freedom by Lindy Stitches. I have had this chart um, ever since she released it at StitchCon. Um, and so I am stitching this on I have a book I have my notebook with all of my notes because I, um, I I'm sure I told you all before that this year my word of the year is order and so I'm trying to make sure that I have everything in order so that I am not bouncing around and doing all kinds of things all the time. Um, so that when I pick up um, a project and want it to get some work accomplished on it also, not just um, in cross stitch, but in my life, period. And, and of course, it's not in this book, I don't think. I actually have two of these books, and I think the Stitch for Sweet Freedom is in the first book. But I um, dyed this fabric, and I believe it is a 16 count. Yes, it's a 16 count fabric, um, and I actually dyed it last year. And this is where I am right now and so I will be working on this um, right now I'm down to where the words are so I'll be putting um, in some of the words and I'm hoping to get over and start her face and neck next so those that my goal for February on this piece is three hours um, to work on her three hours during the month. Um, she is also on my WIPCO board. So I will, you'll end up seeing her again. Also, I, asked, uh, I absolutely love this piece. Um, the, the, um, this is actually, which I don't know how I even found out about it. But it's a cross stitch hoop. I, I don't know what I thought it was in the, initially, but it is just um, so pretty to stitch. Um, and a lot of um, floss tubers that I've seen that are stitching this piece, they did satin stitches over top of the actual thread spools. And so I'm going to, once um, I get more stitching in on it, I'm going to go back and do that same thing. It, it is a wonderful piece.
And I know um, there have been quite a people, quite a few people that have done it and finished it. So the next letter is an N, and, and I chose New Start. This is uh, my birthday project bag from Lynn X Stitches Creates. Hi, Lynn. And I started <clears throat> Harriet Tubman. I started her on February the 1st. Um, I did just get a little meager start on it. Um, this will be um, worked on during the weekends. Uh, the weekdays are too hectic for me right now to uh, stitch on something that means so much and is important to me. I don't want to make mistakes and have to rip it out and get frustrated and all of that. Um, so um, Harriet Tubman and my MLK sampler also those will be two of the pieces that I work on during the weekend. So this is where I'm at, which is um, just the very beginning of the circle for the portrait part. I, I did enjoy. I mapped it out, counted it three times to make sure that um, I was going to be able to stitch it exactly correctly. Um, that border around that portrait could be a little, whew. I was like, count, 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 <laughs> count, and count again. For, for the D in candy, I started working on... Square Dance February by Heart and Hand. And these are really cute, um, quick little charts also. Um, although I'm doing, um, I almost said Halloween and I don't even do Halloween. Although I'm doing um, Valentine's Day um, and, you know, Valentine's Day is next Sunday. I'm not really concerned about having any of this done before Valentine's Day. I want to get them all started and then going forward, I'll be able to have it for next year. So <clears throat> this, I'm like, where am I? Yeah. So this is actually my start. And I am really enjoying this. I am never. I have never been really big on a pink, on pink. Um, but these are really pretty colors. I am using all of the called for colors, with the exception that I did not want to use the grapevine, which would have been the border, in February. I am using cherry tomato by classic color works um just because it it looked so stark the grapevine looked so stark to me next to all of the reds so i just chose a different uh, pinky red and that's what i'm using for the border so that moves me into new starts nope I still got Y, sorry. So for the letter Y, I also chose another free download for the Valentine's Day. And I have not actually started this piece yet, but it is called Love, 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 and it is by No, nope. I have Cindy Young. Keep a happy heart. So let's look here. Oh, I'm sorry. Not this one. 
what so this one is keep a happy heart and it is not by whoever i said that was this is by lou who stitches cindy young and it was last year and so it was a downloadable pattern i have not started this yet but this is going to be my 28 count experiment so this will be um, very interesting i chose it because it was actually pretty small it does um, have one, two, three, four, five, six DMC colors in it, um, even though it is just, I mean, it's really tiny. So that's my 28 count experiment. So the, the chart that I did hold up that says love, 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 it's also in with the February because of doing the February festivity stitch. Um, however, I haven't started this yet, so you'll get to see it next week. <clears throat> and now I'm going to move on to new starts. So, of course, my um, first new start was... Harriet Tubman, and I'd been waiting and waiting and waiting until the first to start her, um, and I did start her on the first, and then um, I have chosen, um, the Fat Quarter Shop came out with a um, chart to celebrate Black History Month also. 100% of the proceeds of this chart will be going to the United Negro College Fund. I also ordered the quilt kit and it was shipped um, Thursday night. And so I am waiting patiently to get the quilt kit. But I did go ahead on and start the um, cross stitch chart on February the 1st. And that is what this chart actually has. This pattern has two charts in it. Um, the Stronger Together, which I'll stitch after. And it also has, this is actually what the chart is. In um, their Friday um, live stream, it was explained about the colors that was chosen, the pattern that was chosen and all of that. So you can um, go and find and look for that video in, about the colors. Um, when slaves were traveling for freedom, they used um, quilt patterns, the stars, all kinds of different things to find their way to freedom. And so this is what this chart is representing. And so here is where I am. I um, am doing the outline and I'm sorry for the hanging threads. I actually do that so that I can um, keep track if I am taking a break or so um, the white is all for this portion is all done. <clears throat> And, then, and I'm keeping this in a Q-snap because I'm going to be stitching on it again tonight. So, um, And then I outlined the blue so that I could get the star placement in. Um, because those blues are big blocks of color, um, when I have a meeting at work or a quilt guild meeting or friends want to talk on Zoom, that'll be something easy for me to go through and do. All of the colors on this is uh, our DMC. They um, stitched their model on 14 count fabric flare. Um, and I did not have that. So I am stitching mines on 14 count seraphim. Seraphina. 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 Um, that I purchased from Keepsakes. So it's um, the Fat Quarter Shops model has 
you know, different shades and colorings of blue. Mine actually has some pink and some yellow. Um, but I love this fabric and I thought I'm going to just use the fabric for my stash and it'll be fine. So I don't know that I'm going to, because I have so many projects, I don't look to get things done like, oh, it's Black History Month. I got to get it done right now. Um, it will get done. And I'll be thrilled when it is done. And so I'm not going to stress over getting it done this month. It would be nice. Um, and if I just buckled down and didn't do probably any of my Valentine's um, charts, it probably could get done. But right now, um, I need to stitch on what calls to me and what I feel feel um and so all of the pieces that i am stitching on though are ones that i love and i want to stitch on and i am finding uh, different ways to rotate projects in and out and in and out and in and out and excuse me i do maybe um, an hour on one and then move to another one um so it it it, it has been really helpful to me to have um, is as many projects as I've had so far. One of my guild mates, I've been posting, um, we're in a challenge in my quilt guild and um, we post what's under our needle. Um, and so a lot of my pictures have been of cross stitch pa patterns. And so uh, one lady actually said, you've inspired me to pull out my cross stitching. I got to go dig it out and find it. And I thought that was so wonderful because, you know, she hadn't cross stitched in a, in a long time. And so she still has a pattern that was not finished. Um, and so she, I'm going to go dig that out and find it. I need some hand work to do. And so it, it really made me feel good that she, um, you know, that I showed her, was showing all the projects that I was doing and that she wanted to go and pull hers out also. So those, uh, those were the new starts. One more. I also am in, <clears throat> I signed up to do the May to Create, <clears throat> pardon me. I drank some uh, hot chocolate before I started this. I like drinking uh, warm things in the evening. And now I think it has me all. <laughs> so I am working on, and I do not have, um, because it's a mystery style, I do not have um, a chart to show you. But I started on the 25th. The pattern comes out the 25th of the month. So if you want to get involved, it is not too late. Um, the consensus of the pattern, the consensus of this right now is that this is going to be the letter E. And I am just at the very start of it. So I still need to put in all of this blue um, I have the, oh, it's this way. I have the needle and I still need to put in the blue. There's a camera and a few other things. There's some thread. So I still have a lot to uh, do on this. I'm sure a lot of you have seen pictures where people are already finished. Um, but right now my goal is, is to get this first part done before the second part comes out. Um, because that's how I've, I was really up, caught up with positivity rules <clears throat> and then life just got crazy um, as the seasons changed last summer for me. Um, so I couldn't finish um, working on it and so I want to continue working on this and keep up uh, with, I'm going to put you over here and keep up with it so that I'm not in the same position with it like I am positivity rules. So that was another start for this month. And I work.
worked on my Martin Luther King sampler this morning. And this is going into plan. So for this month, I'm going to work on my uh, both Caterpillar, well, Positivity Rules is going away until WIPGO gets, till it gets called in WIPGO. I'll be working on the Made to Create Caterpillar Cross Stitch Mystery Sampler, Mystery Sal, um, with a goal to get it, the first part finished by the 25th before the next part drops. <clears throat> I'll be working on Harriet Tubman um, all month long. And my goal is to get in two or three hours um, every Friday or every Saturday, Sunday, um, because I also want to work on a few other of my um, Black History Month pieces. That's what I'm calling them. That's what they are to me. So that was Harriet Tubman. I'm going to work um, on a stitch for Sweet Freedom also this month with a goal of three hours. My goal for Harriet Tubman is actually 10 hours. She's a big piece for me. So I need to really focus and get a lot of her completed. I um, also am stitching on Martin Luther King sampler. And this is not on a WIPCO board. It's not in um, the monthly magazine cross stitch challenge group or anything. This is just my own. I start, if you remember, I started on, I started this on his birthday, which was January the 15th. Um, and my goal for this piece is to have it finished by the time, by April the 4th, which was the day that he was assassinated on. And so I, I actually got in a lot of good stitching this morning. The border, I've came all the way down here. Um, I probably have 18 more sets of these stitches. And I love this border. It's very different on all the sides. And then when you last saw it, I had in the T. So on top of doing the border down this way and across, I also have put in the M, E, and the I, and the S. And so it's, it's a really um, cool stitch. Um, very easy stitch. She um, did a wonderful job. Ooh, my ear is ringing. This is by Stone Street Stitch Works. And so I am really, really enjoying it and will be uh, making it a weekend focus piece also because I really want to have this done by April the 4th. Um, and when I say done, I want it in a frame or however I'm going to finish it. I haven't really decided yet how I'm going to finish it. Um, but I want it done um, by then, by April the 4th. So it'll be, you'll be seeing it a lot more also. So those were whips and monthly magazine cross stitch challenge group pieces so i also like i said um joined in with miss dina oh i have one more so um i don't know if i showed you when we were doing the bringo but one of my pieces was the chalk full bloom and I don't, I think I um, had, had not stitched it and now I can't even remember. Oh, it was stitch on something that had a flower or a tree. And I had not, I thought I had, but I had not um, worked on this piece before since um, when I did my last floss tube video. So here's where I'm at. When, uh, what I put in was the B this be right here. Um, I finished all of this flower and I came, I might have had this already done, but now this is all um, finished and I'm going to um, stitch on this 
sporadically also I need to get it get this part I am only doing the jar piece and this once I get it finished I'm I'm not keeping this piece although I am I was in the uh, these released in 20 20 well some released in 2019 some released in 2020 and I was in the fat quarter shops club so we got all of the threads fabric um, and the charts um, quarterly when they came out however as you can see this is not being done on uh, black Ada this is actually on Venetian stone for uh, 16 count Venetian stone um, and it will be not staying with me. I'm sending it back to keepsakes. So I love it though. And I love it on the 16 count. So I'll, there are a, a number of them that I've just maybe started the small. Um, but I'm thinking if I'm going to do the jar parts of them, that I'm going to use the 16 count. It is a. Uh, just going along so well i don't have a problem at all stitching on black ada it doesn't bother me it, you know I, well the other thing too is is i sit at a table that has a whiteboard on top of it so when i am sitting and looking at the you know at it over the whiteboard then i can see the holes really well um however i'm not going to be able to hold uh very much longer hold Q snaps in my hand. Um, I actually like stitching in hand. I I can stitch in hand, um, but my left wrist is going to end up needing uh, surgery faster than what I wanted to <laughs> have it done. Um, and so, therefore, to give me a little bit more time, I have a Lowry stand and I have to just use it. Um, because I cannot, I mean, the pain is just unbelievable. Um, I had a carpal tunnel and another kind of tunnel in my elbow surgery last year. Um, and this year I'm going to have to get the left done and it will actually require two, they'll be done at the same time, but it'll be two different surgeries um, because I have something in my wrist and then the actual carpal tunnel in the palm of my hand. So I, I'm going to buckle down and use my frame. Um, and I love it too. It just takes me a little bit of practice because I, um, you know, I, I was a pull, a yank and pull, a stab and poke or something they call it. Um, but I am getting the hang of the two-handed stitching, and I am enjoying it. I worked on the Martin Luther King sampler this morning, two hours, just doing. Um, I'm not. A, I'm sure I'm not as, as fast as some people are. So, but you got to do what you got to do to get things done. So that's what I'll be doing. So I also am participating in WIPGO. And this month, the numbers were called, um, as I'm sure you've heard, were 4 and 20. And as Grace would have it, my number 20, my number 4 and my number 20 are the same project. I was so ecstatic <laughs> when them numbers was called and they was the same. I couldn't believe it. I was like, yes, thank you, thank you, thank you. So here is what my number four and my number 20 is. It is called um, Alas and My Savior Did Bleed, and it is by Lindy Stitches. Um, and so the my goals in WIPCO are yearly. Um, so it's as long as I meet the goal by the 31st of December. So the goal for my numbers are 10 hours per number. So I, I have a goal of needing to stitch on this for 20 hours. Um, and right now, this is where I'm at. 
And I believe the last time this was, this was actually on my Bringo board also as my largest whip. And I had come all the way down and put in a part of this red flower right here. So I will be continuing on. As you can see, the border, that that's the border. And then the words. Um, and so the words will go fairly quickly. I could actually probably start the words now. Um, and that way when... If I get tired of the border, <clears throat> which it's a really, I like stitching borders. I, I um, hear others, I don't like it. Um, hi, Kim. You can do the border, girl. You can do it. Um, it the borders do not bother me. Um, and it, especially it's a flower. It's a nice big chunk of color. So, um but if I need a break from it, I can start stitching um, the letters and the words um, to help it move along faster. It would be wonderful if the 20 hours would finish this piece um, and that I could um, get it done, you know, fairly quickly. It will be having its birthday. I started this project on April the 12th, 2020. Um, and so it would be nice if I could, I'm not going to have it done by April as well. I know that. Um, but to get it done this year would be really, um, nice. I need to get myself to the point where I, um, look towards finishing more things. Um, cause I can start all the things the buying. I love to start. Um, but I need to love the finishing also. So so that was my whip go. And then I have um, just a couple of more projects. Um, I, of course, said that I am working on some Valentine's starts. And I do not have, or do I? Nope. So Little Stitch Girl Jordan has a pattern. And this is what it looks like. And it's called Loads of Love, and it has little hearts in a little red wagon. And I actually purchased this pattern last year um, and didn't get started on it. And so here is my little start. That's my first, my first heart. Um, and I am using all of the called for classic color works on this. And I am stitching this on a 14 count white chocolate witch ale. I'm pretty sure this looks like this. Um, and I, you know, I love uh, witch ale. I was in the uh, witch ale club at Fat Quarter Shop. Um, and so it's a very nice um, fabric. It's not as is. as I've had crunchy Ada. This is not um, crunchy at all. It's, you know, like I haven't done anything with it. It's very, <laughs> it's very flighty. Um, so it's, it's really nice. I can, um, I actually did that little heart in my hand, you know, stitching it in my hand. Um, which is part of my problem because I, I know I shouldn't do it and I just do it anyway um, because I actually enjoy it so much. It, it it does give you so much more freedom when you're, you know, stitching in hand. Um, but I I if I don't stop stitching in hand, I'll be having surgery real soon. So. That was loads of love, um, and I only stitched on this one piece to start it, maybe 30 minutes, maybe, maybe 30 minutes. So I have quite a few, uh, quite a ways to go. Um, a lot of the pieces that I'm showing you that are much smaller, um, I um, start working very early. I start work um, early in the morning, and I am a routine person. Um, and so... Uh, in order to 
calm myself and be prepared for the day. I typically uh, get up um, and after I do my devotions, drink my coffee, uh, you know, while I'm drinking my coffee, all of that, I will cross stitch anywhere between a half an hour and an hour before I log on um, every day, every day. Um, and typically it's the smaller projects that that's what I'm working on. Again, the uh, Martin Luther King sampler, Harriet Tubman, those I, I will save until the weekend to do. Um, but then I also, uh, which I'll have to show you next time I record, I started a paper piece quilt project. Um, and so I'll have to show you the, that uh, next week when I have some progress. So now I'm going to be splitting my time between working on that quilt and working on my uh, Black History Month charts. But, you know, it keeps life interesting. So one more uh, project that I am working on for Valentine's Day, and it was also in on the um, Bringo board, and it is uh, Love is Patient, and it is that motif right there, and so here, I'm, I don't remember where it was when I showed it last, but here's where I am now. And I have actually, I started at the, this way maybe. No, it is this way. So I started at the top and am coming down to the diagonal. And this one, it, it calls for just the red um, and the lettering is in black and I think I'm going to try to choose a dark gray uh, maybe um, because the black is just going to look so stark they the fabric that they used was more of a blush um, color whereas mine's is a very is very pink very 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 pink um, so I am going to, once I get to the letters, I'm going to have to see if I'll be able to use that, those dark, that dark of a shade, or if I can go lighter because it'll just be like whew, with the, the 310. So, but that is called Love Is, um, and it is in the... February 2016, just cross stitch magazine. I never, it's funny when I, when I'm putting all of my things in my basket. So I, I've come up with this process, you know, if I pull it out, to stitch on it either for month, month, uh, magazine monthly cross stitch challenge or bringo or I'm going to oh that sounds like a good idea let me jump in on that little uh, stitch along so then I put them in a basket and I really don't because I just pull the bag when I need to pull the bag to do it and now I'm like do I really stitch this much during the, but it has been a couple of weeks. So you all just keep providing me with grace um, as I maneuver along and deal with life and the world and everything else. So, and I appreciate you doing that. I appreciate you um, still being a subscriber Um And viewing my videos. I, I don't even know that I said today is Saturday, February the 6th. This is my floss tube number four. Look, I'm 50 minutes in and I'm just saying that. So, so now we're going to move on to the haul portion of the show. And I... Um, 
am in the Fat Quarter Shops Floss Club, and I'm in both of the clubs. The first club that I receive at the beginning of the month is the flo Floss Frenzy. I was like, slow down and say it so you don't mess that up. Um, and it is the Weeks Dye Works, and the colors are... This is blue jeans. Shepherd's Bush. These are really pretty blues. Um, I, I have a question for you all. When you are in floss clubs like this and they come in, like this is all blue. Do you just keep the blues together or do you put them in order by alphabet or how do you, I have quite a few, um, over dyes and now I'm like, I need to organize these a different way. I think this one is periwinkle. This is sky. Jaybird. I hope these are really like looking exactly how they look because these are really pretty. This one actually has like a hint of green in it also, the Jaybird. And this is Dutch Iris. I don't want to turn my light back around towards me because I'm sure it would blow them all out. So that was my January 2021 club. My classic color works club will be coming in probably in the next two weeks. Um, so that was that. And then I um, also placed an order. And I, so Lori Holt has come out with a 20 count. It's called cork. It's 100% linen. And it they finally got it in. And so I picked it up. I guess now I can take it out the package. I have a dog, and so anything that is not covered or in a package will inevitably get dog hair on it. And so I try to keep things covered up is until I know for sure that I'm going to... Oh, it feels so nice. It is all Zweigart based because it has the little orange. And this is how... This is the size. It's not variegated or anything. It's a very nice, very, very neutral. Um, and so I, um, I'm not sure. I had read an article and it wasn't from Lori Holt, um, but it was about a 20 count linen that you stitch over to. So if you all know, um, if this could be stitched over to, because it says 20 count and I know like typically 20 count that would mean Ada, but it isn't it. And I don't know, maybe because I'm used to stitching on 14 and 16, but you let me know what you think. It's so soft. It's so soft. Also, I put, uh, I ordered at the same time. So they were having, um, they have flash sales on Wednesdays um, for cross stitch charts products, um, and they had um, the Nativity by Country Cottage Needleworks um, on the flash sale, and I picked that up. And I'm not trying to be controversial. I want you all to know that. However, I am going to change these two around because the wise men didn't get to the to Jesus until he was two years old. So he would they weren't at the birth. It's in the Bible. And I'm not trying to offend anybody, but that's just I'm going to change that for me. Because that's how I'm going to 
that's how I'm going to do it. So, but I can't wait to get started. I'm hoping that I can get the 28 count um, down very well so that I can um, maybe get a piece of um, I want to say banner but that's not correct and it's still say my mind is still saying banner but I know that's not correct so so that I can get it and stitch it just like it is here on a piece of if you know what I'm talking about please leave the please leave the name in the comments I, I mean I know what I'm talking about and can't call the name so they are also doing a uh, <clears throat> year-long stitch along um, heart and hand came out with this chart um, And it is super cute. And I'm sorry about all the noise. And so I did not order the entire. I did not order the uh, the whole package. I'm gonna just order them as I <clears throat> can. Um, because you could end up having your whole paycheck just signed over to the fat quarter shop or to this shop or to that shop. And I have bills I need to get paid. So I was like, oh, I'll just get the first three charts of the month. And then I'll, you know, when March comes, I'll get the next three and so forth. I, every quarter, I'll just buy three of the charts. And that way I won't have to worry about it. But this is called Monthly Markings. And this is the uh, chart that shows you how they all go in there. And then each of the other charts. So here's January, and you know how I am about snowmen. And I'm sorry for the glare. I'm trying to. There's January. And then I guess I could just. And then here's February. And they're all super cute. They're all stitched on, um, you know, one piece of fabric, and they're very long ways. That's February. And I was trying to see each one. Well, the February is 30 by 30. So I'm sure the rest of them have to be also. And then here's March. So I have um, an idea. I don't know that that's going to actually work, though, but, like, um, yes, this is 30 by 30 also, and this is the March one. And so I um, was really intrigued. I don't have a lot of uh, pieces like this, um, and it would end up staying up all year long because... Um, you know they're all on one piece however i have seen in the past where you could buy um a piece and it has a cutout and so you just slide this thing along so that you would be on the month you would see the month that it is in that you're in without seeing all the other months if that makes any sense so i was actually like I wonder if I could find that and then on the months that it is, you know, somehow highlight that month, but then you would not see the border or the words depending on where you were on in the chart. But I'm always, I'm trying to just think of different ways of finishing things. Um, I have not um, finished things. I have things that I could be finishing um, but I have not finished them. Um, I think, I don't think I know. Part of the problem is, is I just don't have the self-confidence to do it, even though I'm pretty artistic, I think. Um, at least that's what people tell me sometimes. So, um, 
Marquia. Sorry, my daughter is like trying to come downstairs. So, um, Miss Best Twist came out with um, two new charts. Um, and I was on a hunt to find them. And as it turned out, she released them that uh, 24 hours of cross stitch weekend. Um, Shelly at that's that's so Ada that's so Ada Shelly I'm sorry if I got your name wrong she invited me to a 24 hours of cross stitch zoom that Friday night uh, this is because I I couldn't get the charts from keepsakes so, she invited me to this Zoom, 24 hours of cross stitch um, party. And I went and I met a wonderful lady. I actually met two. I met Yasmin, Yasmir, um, Almond M&Ms. She's on floss tube. She does the very small stitching. And I met Mary, and she owns, um, it is called F-A-D Needlework. It's on Etsy, and I will put their information down below. And I would, just by happenstance, I mentioned to her that I was going to be trying to find these two charts. And she was like, oh, I have them. And literally, I was like, you what? <laughs> she was like, yes, we got those in today. And I was ecstatic. I went right straight to her Etsy shop on Saturday morning and ordered them. And the first one is Sunday Stitches. And it is the Amazing Grace chart. And, I mean, from the time I was a little girl, we knew the words to Amazing Grace, and so, Amazing Grace. And then the second one was Next Door, and it, it says, I wish you lived next door. And I just love this, because um, going down to uh, Keepsakes, those first, that first year, um, well, even now, when you gonna move down here? And so my friends say that to me all the time. Um, and so I just thought that was so cute. Um, so I might have to stitch that up and give it to my friend. Um, and then, of course, you know, I'm always on the search for an ink circles. And I got lichen. And I am going to have to consult with my color consultant um to do it in a different color way um so i don't i'm not very sure she does have it where it is purple there's a purple one up there so i'll have to see if the uh if those colors are in the chart this um this is called a roll your own adventure with three color families um, so it'll be interesting. I don't know when I'm going to start this, but I, I had to get that. And then also from Fad Needlework, I picked up a few um, flosses that I needed for the Loads of Love. And they were persimmon. Yeah, I think my light is not good, guys. And this one is cobble, cobbler, cobbled, cobbled peach. Yeah, because that looks way more pink. And it is not. It is definitely, well, it's a peachy pink. But it's got a lot more pink in it, or peach than pink. And then the very last one was, well, not the very last one. The uh, next one was Ladybug. 
And then I, when I was looking through my uh, flosses, I noticed I didn't have any purples. So I had to buy purple pansy. <laughs> so those were the flosses. She had great customer service. She, um, They are out of Mississippi. Um, and I got to meet her dog. And um, this is Mary from Fad Needle works um just great customer service her and her daughter uh, run the shop together and so it was great they already have me down to get the um, sunday stitches as they come out so i will be able to have that whole collection um and i'm looking forward to it um she was very nice we zoomed for probably two or three hours uh, way past my bedtime but it was a lot of fun do you need to come downstairs? Sorry, I just don't want her to be standing there waiting for me to get done. So I um, had hinted around that I was going to be starting something new. And I uh, decided that I would go ahead on and bite the bullet and jump in feet first. And I purchased a cow chart from one big happy yarn co and they are doing um they are doing like they did four videos to show you how to make this cow and so you got on, you ordered the yarn, and this is 100% uh, super wash merino wool. And I'm sorry if the colorway, it just says color 4912 dye lot 3268. And this is, so Jenny Doan, has Missouri Star Quilt Co. Quilt Company. This is her sister-in-law, Jenny Fish, and she owns One Big Happy. Yes, One Big Happy Yarn Co. And so I just want to make sure I got that straight. And so this is what the fabric or the fabric. This is what the yarn looks like, and and you know I picked it because of the purples. And then um, along with it came a llama gauge. Now, I don't know. I'm just starting this out. I had to go to the store and pick up. Um, I'm also looking at uh, Caroline Off the Grid's Needle Arts, where she taught Ginger Gerald how to knit um, a dishcloth socks a hat and i think gloves so i had the little needles already but then when i saw this i was like oh well let me start with that because the yarn was bigger so then i had to go and buy um us 15 size needles so I i'm gonna be very careful about this here uh new venture because you could get caught up i know real fast with purchasing all the things and getting all the stuff and then I'll have balls of yarn or skeins or hanks or whatever they are called sitting around and um, I don't have room for stockpiling <laughs> nothing else nothing else so I have one last um, thing I of course am in a quilt guild and um, I got a message last night from one of the members and they sent me a picture and was like, can you use this? And I was like, oh my goodness, yes, I can. It's free if you can just come and pick it up. Okay. So, I went today and picked up this bag. And in this bag are all of these frames um 
I um, actually have one frame that was purchased and then I've constructed a couple of others. But these all she just gave me. And I like the picture like in the picture I couldn't really tell but there are four different sizes here um and even the bag she was like okay I'm just gonna sit the bag outside the door and you can pick them up and so just the generosity that um, quilters knitters cross stitchers crafty people have is just unbelievable to me still um she has you know i post pictures on the web on our facebook group in the quilt guild and she was just like i am not going to do that anymore i i'm not doing it anymore my eyes won't let me do that anymore you can have them i was so excited last night um because again, you know, I, I have to be careful with my little wrist. Um, and so I was just super excited that she just offered them to me um, because she knows that I enjoy cross stitching and thought that that would be helpful. And so I'm so very appreciative of um, all of the generosity, the kind words, every um comment every like um if you have questions that you know you want to know something about me please don't hesitate to uh leave them in the comment section i will make sure to answer them i was very surprised i only had six comments um this time from the last video so I was very surprised about that. But, you know, I know um, I have to um, watch the video and forgot to leave a comment. I uh, If I watch in the living room, I have to really be mindful to come to my computer and leave a comment and that. So I, I do understand that it happens. But I want to thank you all again for spending your time with me. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope that I, <clears throat> it won't be another two weeks before I get to come back and see you. Um, I, again, I'm working on a lot of things and so life is steadily moving. Um, stay safe, wear your mask. If you happen to get the, um, immunization shot please still wear your mask do your social distancing um, there is a time period in which you um, have to still be diligent or you could still catch COVID-19 so please remember that um, and one last thing um, during this time and and though we've gone been going through this for almost a year now Remember to be kind to people. Um, you never know what someone is dealing with or going through, and they could look wonderful, and and inside they are crumbling. Um, so just remember that uh, as you go about your week. Thank you, and I will talk to you soon. Bye.